optional quest. Uh. Take your pick. <clears throat> Ooh, dear, good afternoon, good evening, everyone. This is Viper of Viperland, and I'm back attempting to use the mic this time. Sorry, I had to leave quickly. I now it's one of the reasons I don't tend to stream during the daytime too often. Every now and again, stuff comes up. But, you know, uh, we should be okay. I had to abandon that quest, because apparently going into the PlayStation home screen does not pause the timer. I had thought it did, but it doesn't, so... I had to abandon that one real quick. Try to take down Puke Puke again. I kind of feel like... I'm not acting... Well, maybe I'll aim for him. I've got an okay poison sword. The little bits of his set I already have give me more poison. So, I feel like... Maybe finish his set first. I don't know what else we just got that was new. What did we get that was different from what we had? Da -da -da. Okay. Bonus level 4, point bonus. Oh, field guide level 6. Okay. Ah, yeah, whatever. Grab the bite deed upstairs. And be ready to go. I want to try it with the mic. Uh, the reason I didn't earlier is I do have a four-year-old nephew. It can be super, super loud, even through many rooms. Because, you know, four-year-olds. No fault of his. Uh, but we'll, we'll see what we can do. I'm going to try it. I prefer streaming with the mic, obviously. But we'll adjust as necessary. We also kind of, if we see ore, and if we see bone piles, we kind of have to make a pit stop for those, because we need a ton of that for all this new stuff. Um. The Marinos dropped us off halfway. Okay. But that's okay. We can pick up where we left off here. I mean, that works. In all technicality, I probably could just fly to the point, but whatever. I'll be fine. Be sure a first aid meter or two, but you know, life goes on. Yeah, yeah, you guys. Oh, hold on, bone pile. It's worth taking a break for for a second, and we'll probably need some of these guys anyway. Realistic. Wow, their heads are tough. Still dead though. I mean, it's a 30-minute quest timer. I can't imagine it taking even most of that to take down Puke Puke. I know it's high rank, but you know. A greatsword. Even though it's poison greatsword, the raw is not terrible. We'll be okay. Aww. Getting Kestodons to fight themselves? That's not fair. Not very nice. So I seem to have melded that one with the wall. Alright, we got ourselves a mount. We got ourselves the bones. Let's get ourselves a Puke Puke. What? Okay, well, you know. Fine. Actually, just gonna go up because I think there's a bone pile in here. And an extra cat companion. I don't think there's high rank mushrooms. I think they're still just mushrooms, but I don't know. We'll have to try it out. So I am still pretty much brand new to high, high rank. I've done, what, two quests? Ah, delicious tea. I did the initial expedition you have to do. And I did one expedition on my own to get some investigations. And I did one investigation in my super short previous stream. Now we're actually just, you know, continuing on. I don't want to try and make all low rank or high rank armors too, but I at least want to start with a set or two. And Puke. 
Uliaku and Jagras are obvious starting choices, so here we are. Doesn't matter about the hit. Boring, uh, a terribly hideous mishmash of whatever high rank gear I could make. We do have a bit of poison resist. I think it's like reduced duration by 60%. One more point would be nice. But what we got now is not awful. If we get poisoned, we can probably ignore it and then like single potion through it. Kind of the plan. Also, I keep meaning I keep setting the mantles to quick thing, but I keep forgetting they're actually tied to item sets. And then I go take one of my already set up item sets, and it's like, well, I undid my radio menu customization. Though it is cool that you can customize based on your item set. So you can have a totally different set. Oh, he's just leaving. You can have a totally different set for gunner weapons, let's say than you would for Blademaster weapons on your radio menu, which is pretty nifty. I like that. I don't know if I'm going to use it. I tend to get into habits. I'm just like, oh, I know this item's there. I'll use it. Still have no mic on the title. Oh, thank you. I forgot to update it. I updated the title, but I forgot to hit the update button. Thank you very much, Sora, by the way. I appreciate it. Yeah. Stupid me. Literally updated it, but didn't hit the button to apply it. Whoopsie daisy. Oh, hey, maybe I should have paid attention to when he was trying to shake me off. No stamina. No stamina at all. Yeah, buddy. I'm loving the combination of Thieving Cat and uh, this mantle. That combo of just, you know, items everywhere. And they're wonderful. Though it means I spent half the fight just picking up shinies off the ground, but you know. Is there really anything wrong with that? Do -do -do. Picking up shinies. I need to kill and grab a whole bunch of regular Jagra spins too, actually. Uh, high rank is great, and also it's like all these things that I thought I had plenty of, like regular Jagra spits, I don't. Definitely don't have enough. All new now. It also very quickly put the fear of expeditions back in me. When I see like an engine off or something show up, I'm like, no, 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 time to leave. Time to get the hell out of there. It was before, it's like, oh, an Anginoth, isn't that adorable? Now it's like, no, I'm not, I'm not gonna mess with that. I already missed my KO draw. I could stay with it, but I kind of like having higher defense. And I want to try the high rank stuff. Hey, Big Bad Wolfie is now auto-hosting me for up to three viewers. I said this before, I don't know who that is. That's not the first time they've auto-hosted me. Did it open up low rank off online only? Uh, probably actually, yeah. Honestly, that's probably something I could do with low, no issue. Maybe tonight. Maybe for tonight's stream, that's what I'll be doing. Now wear low rank armor too. I've got a few to choose from. <clears throat> Though I do also have to finish the... Oh, you Jagger son of a gun. Wow, that hurt. I do have to finish the Kirin armor, I think is the one... I can finish, and oh, there's an ingot piece that needs coral crystals, and I've just been lazy. Okay, cool. We won't carve that guy. That's fine. I didn't need it anyway. Fine. We'll leave. Oh, no, we had piercing. We had piercing. Oh, screw it. We don't have piercing. And I imagine... Actually, I imagine most people are past low rank at this rate, but still, there might be some people who are still in low rank. I keep forgetting I am the very slow person here. Everyone else is going much quicker through the game. But other than people who just haven't had a lot of time to play, I 
I know Mitz isn't high rank yet, but Mitz is head work. And Potions is actively going very slow too, which is fine by me. I mean, I get it. I went slow. But I feel like everybody I know who's like streaming it is miles past me. I just hit high rank and Pekko already finished the end game monster. I still don't know what it is, and I still don't want to know yet until I get there. But it's like, okay. I'm a bit behind. Maybe hit the tail? No, but 200 damage. Oh no, I got the tail. Yeah! I thought I hit the body. I'm gonna get poisoned. No, haha. <laughs> Alright, well, I can stop. No, I can't. I can't stop him until I get this. You mustn't run away, Shinji. One more piercing left. Oh, you son of a poison. Come on, take him down a notch. I should probably capture him, but I'm just having fun going ham with Grey Sword. Honestly. And run. Yep. That's what missing pods are for. And all sorts of other things. I like being able to stop runners. He's still gonna get away though. We don't have quite enough damage to just wreck him, I don't think. Especially with that. Hey! Damn it. Uh, let's start up that cart command. There we go. Yay. 17 carts in low rank. My first high rank cart. Could eat again, but hopefully he's practically dead. If he does go to sleep, we'll catch him. And he's gonna go to sleep. He's already in the air. Actually, I don't think he even sleeps. I think he just goes over here, right? He goes over... Oh, 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 sorry. Not paying attention at all. He goes over this way. Grabs some... And I am just... Clearly slightly off. I turn my head to cough away from the mic for a second and I'm running in the totally wrong direction. Well, whatever. I can't believe I carted at the end of it. Like... Now we're just gonna go in, trap him in like five seconds. It'll be fine. But we had to die first. Especially because this one gives us a lot of zenny for completing it, which is why I picked this specific investigation. Now we get less. Boo. Take one of them. And take two of these. to get that sweet bug investigation. Super important. Actually, I probably need those bug bits, so, you know. All sarcasm aside, I'll probably end up running one of those in a bit. I'm sure there's a high rank armor for them, and even if there's not, I'm sure I'll need high rank materials. Scale. We need a few toxic sacks, I know that. Mysterious thing. I should have read that. Malachite or the count item, so sure it's just you know, money. Oh, okay. Decoration. Pip and jewel. Decoration that enhances the sleep resistance skill. Cool. Okay. Ah, we lost some zenny. We went from really good zenny to pretty good. Good in progress. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I had to take a sip of my tea, but it bashed my mic. I'm clearly just slightly off kilter today. I, I got no excuse for it. Clearly, not enough Monster Hunter is my issue.
I slept for a little bit. How di how could I? I Should have just been straight playing. Also, as helpful as a pop filter is, we've made good progress on that mystery ugh, monster. Gets in the way more often than not. Oh yeah, bounty. And that's it. Inspire. Forest. I feel like we're doing forest a lot. We probably will keep doing it for a short bit. Ooh, and all three. <clears throat> Still 50 minutes, a ton of cash. And not exactly hard monsters. I like that. Uh, our current this void quest is 10,000. That's 8,000. Yeah, I'm gonna wipe the rest. There we go. No riders are back. Gotta check with them. You got stuff to say. Yes. Powerful Anjanath. Well. Okay. So he wants me to take down an Anjanath. I don't know if I'm ready to take down an Anjanath now. I'm going to get some better armor first. For sure. I'm going to keep going with this. Puke Puke level 5. Ever so slowly getting up there. Oh, I should check. Special Investigation 2. Hey, Binary. Welcome to Viperland of the chat. It is indeed. Okay, yeah. Do that quest later. Yeah, I'm not doing that one right now. We need armor. We need stuff. Oh, Zarin! Okay, wonderful! I did not know that. Perfect. Then indeed, welcome to Viperland in the chat. We're gonna hunt some monsters once I, you know, finish checking this, though. Um... Better for plants for another few turns. There we go. Yeah, we'll do that. Back to all of our spoils. We gotta check our cats and check what armor we can make. Maybe up the weapon too. We'll see. I'm loving the new digs, by the way. This place is amazing. And the fact that I can finally get those guys up there is really awesome. So many of them. I was waiting to be able to use them. And I think we have a golden fish in there too. Yeah. We got an okay setup around here. I might actually have to make more of the birds I like. I don't have too many. I think I've got one in the garden, which is not enough. But I can also put two of these guys over here now. Look at them. Look at them. Look at them. Oh, they hide. I can't imagine them having a better room than this. This has got to be top tier. Alright, cats, what you got? Please give me some good stuff. I can add ore, iron ore, wyvern bone mass, Hellrider vouchers. Nothing I really needed, but they did well enough. You know what? I actually want to send the cats out from the other place because I like the, the cinematic with it. So hold on. You only get the cinematic if you send them out from the ship. If you send them out from your house, you don't get it. That's just sneak around the world and steal stuff for you? Pretty much. You send them out on specific quests to go hunt and gather some stuff. And then they come back and they're like, here's what I got. It's a great way of going, eh, I kind of need some stuff from that area, but I don't feel like doing it. Cats are like, I got you, fam. And we get the great cinematic this way. And not only is it random cats, it's cats from people you have guild cards for. So like, let's see. You can send Potions' as cat and Persea from Calico Dog. I feel like that's a good combo. Send Grimm's cat or Mitz's cat. Uh, we gotta go with the double Potions and Calico Dog. We're gonna send them probably to the Rotten Vet. No, Coral Highlands. 
Damn it, there's no mine. Yeah, there is. We need mining from Coral Highlands really bad. And Kirin materials could help, too. We'll send them out, but we get this. Wonderful cinematic. There we go. Our cats have departed. It is absolutely adorable. It's beyond adorable. It's the best. We do have to go back here now. To f oh, hold on. We may as well go to workshop. If we're going to do a loading screen anyway, may as well bring us where we need. Is that cinematic worth an extra loading screen or two? Sometimes. I don't do it all the time, but every now and again I'm like, yeah, I want to watch it. It's the same every time, but the pets, or the cats change based on the cats of the people who made them. They wear the armor they're currently wearing in their, their game, and you get to customize your cats. So it's everybody's personal little adorable palico. But it does take a little while to load back in. You know, such is life. Well, that troublemaker is yeah, yeah, make Troublemaker. We need trouble. gear. We investigate. need gear. We got no time for Troublemakers. Gear. Oh, Puke Puke. Make a little more. Make boots with Botanist and Spore Puff Expert. That's actually not bad. An extra Spore Puff Expert. So hitting those restores health. Uh, what was botanist again? Extra consumable... Oh, extra gathering. Yeah, that'll be good. Make that one first. And equip it. Dang it. Still missing a few. So when we finish it, that'll be the look. But we're not done yet. Make more Jagras bits. Gotta make it all. That's how we do things. Alright, so what do we still need? We need uh, ore. We'll get that ourselves. Skins increased a lot in high rank? What do you mean the skins? Oh, the skills, yes. Alright, so, uh, I'm always gonna say Zarin. Thanks for tuning in for a little bit. Hope work goes well. See you around. Yes, the skills increased quite a bit in high rank. Which is why I'm pretty happy. And the defense increases to the point where, like, this set, the Puke Puke high rank set gets you 210. If I was wearing the highest defense, if I was wearing Kyrian armor, which is shockingly high defense, it's still lower than that. So, like, you pretty much may as well go high rank armor. It's got more skills, though maybe not necessarily better, depending on the, the set. Currently... We have currently. Da -da -da. We don't have the set bonus. We have poison attack three, which is wonderful for a poison weapon. Poison resist two, again, pretty wonderful. Botanist two, attack bonuses are charm. Fire resist, and eh, it's kind of just a leftover. Weaknesses point, same thing, kind of just a leftover. Speed sharpening, just a leftover, but whatever. We're doing okay. We're going really poisony. The. Uh, also, hello, Mergergerger. Welcome to Viperland in the chat. The B armors are specifically, they have more slots. They have fewer direct skills, but they have slots, and they look different. So if you just want to have baseline skills, you make A. If you want some skills and the ability to customize it more, you make B, generally speaking. I'm going to be going for a lot of A's, at least to start out with. And then eventually bees. Some of them are more different, some of them are less. Just kind of color swaps. Ooh, we do have Vespoid skills. What's that? Para, para. Ooh, we should make that for my para greatsword. We should really make that for my para greatsword with quick sheath. The hunter, I guess. Windproof? Yeah. Yeah. I didn't intend to become a status greatsworder, but, you know, <laughs> it's kind of how I've ended up running. Not intentionally, but it's working. I just happen to have a decent para. Ooh, we can upgrade this. Yeah. And it looks way cooler upgraded. Look at that. And it's got slots. Yup. We're just going to upgrade it. Screw this. Cannot roll back. That's fine. Yeah. Okay. From here, we can't do further yet. That's fine. 
Finally got a high rank weapon with two slots, by the way. We only have a few gems, but hold on. The set decoration. Put in sleep resist, because it's the only jewel we have. And attack, because it's the only other jewel we have. Cool. It appears that you get jewels from quests now. From the best I can tell. We're in blue sharpness, barely. Just a smidge of blue sharpness. And once we get this armor set finished, we're going to be looking pretty sweet while we do it. I really hope... So, when we made the blade, it had more blades in it. I really hope they pop out as I'm charging. I will be so absolutely happy if those blades extend when I charge the weapon. That's everything I love about Greatsword, is ones that change as you charge it. Third Blue Wrath has focused and crit boost. Nice. I have actively avoided spoilers for anything past where I am. So, A, I didn't know Blue Wrath was in here. B, careful with the spoilers. And C, that's really cool. I can't wait to actually see the armors coming up. Literally just started high rank. Anything that's past where I'm in high rank, I have no knowledge of. And I'm trying to keep it that way. Becoming harder and harder by the day, because I'm not going through this game quickly at all. What? I could do just him, or I could do all three. I kind of like the all three idea. It's just a ton of materials, though less specialized materials. Screw it. Uh, actually gets us... Barely more cash. But whatever, let's give it a try. I'll start with Puke Puke. It'd be nice to be wearing the full set again. These other pieces aren't awful, but you know. You're further behind, to be honest, just like planning your gear ahead. Fair enough. Like, that's really cool. But if it's not a monster I've seen in low rank. Don't let me know about it yet, because I'd like to find it myself. Your planning is wonderful. I do it kind of on the fly. That's always kind of been my way of doing it. Uh, I don't even usually do mix sets. But I can for sure see the appeal. I'm going to really quick... If there's something different I can put on chest and head. I'm kind of... Let's just sort it real quick. Alright. This gets me... Speed sharpening. I can get water resist and more defense. Uh, slugger doesn't help. Weakness exploit does. Yeah, we'll at least put on weakness exploit. Uh, fire resist and other weakness exploit. Probably gonna keep that. Yep, there you go. I try to take a mix of both. I prefer full sets. But I've been mixing and matching a little more in this one, especially low rank, because it's so easy to just be like, I need a point in this. There it is. But I would prefer full sets, given the choice, which is why I'm trying to make this full Puke Puke set. Even better, since this seems to be my best greatsword at the moment. Okay. He's clearly down there. And either knows where I am or is fighting something. Uh, neither. Oh, yep. They're not happy with each other. I mean, yeah, yeah, it extends. Okay. Life is good. It extends. I've got blue sharpness. I've got weakness exploit. So hitting head and tail should get me. What is it? More affinity, I think? Damn it! Total whiff. Ah, tried to Superman dive. Also, Bandit Man. Hi, Puka. Getting hit. And we're gonna cut the tail. Probably. I feel like I'll care more about slots when I have more gems to suck it into slots. As it stands, I've got those two, which can both fit in my weapon, so like, it doesn't affect me as much. I don't even think I need the tail, I just want it. It's satisfying to cut off the ta <laughs> oh, tails. Better. Oh, 
You're kidding. It was just high enough in the sky. All right. Look this way. Not going to miss that time. Oh, poor cats. You did a great job. Thanks, cats. Bye, cats. Hey, turn your head this way. I do have two traps. I could always go back to a base camp and get more. If I get the chance to trap some, I'll do it. But I'm not gonna uh, do it at the expense of all else. Alright. That's actually not awful. I think there's a bigger wasp around. Oh, maybe. Yeah, there is. Come on! I die. Poison in a poison resist set. I will feel rubbish. Get towed it on. Get that placement. Oh, okay, good. Really worried I was going to miss that one. Really worried. Even though I usually don't get materials I need with this mantle, I'm loving it anyway. Just the concept of more loot and my cat stealing just material everywhere. Yeah, mostly large scales. The cat gets good stuff. I tend to get count items, but hey, even money adds up and points. It's all stuff I'm going to need. Oh boy. I'm rocked. Okay, you two maybe duke it out a little. Come on. Oh, good. Got Windrake Hide Plus, which I'm sure we're going to need. I'm going to actually fight this guy real quick. We need to do both of them anyway. Airdrop the rock. Though I guess splitting our attention could easily make them recover, too. So that might not be Id ideal. Yeah, screw it. We pinged him a little. We'll go back to Puke Puke. Do one at a time. It's probably smarter. Though on the way we're getting more of those bones, I'm gonna have to do some mining trips. Really at some point, but we know the bones are right here, so we might as well. We need lots of bones, we need lots of mining. We'll probably do some exploration quest. Just to go around and gather. We got a cat with us? Yeah, an escort. Don't know what the escorts do. Also don't know why the scout flies have decided to track Uliaku. That's very clearly not who I have targeted. But hey, whatever. Some of these fools. Well, oh, stamina's fine. I'll be okay. And shiny. Kabuka scale. Yeah, the cat gets us so much extra loot. And the amount that they grab during the fight to give us in the rewards is so amazing. Yeah, you get to eat that. I do love that technically spore puffs can be health for us now. You'd be like, oh no, where is the spore puff? It's over here. Ah, healing time. Damn you, Geo. Now we do things around here. Followed by some piercing pod. Don't you dare roar at me. You dare. Alright, we need to scatter that back. I 
Oh no, I was about to say, did I just shoulder charge 120 damage? That was the cat. I happen to get... Uh, ooh, here's some blood. I happen to get enough Zora Magdalos bits from that, like, one quest. And I got Zora Magdalos gear for the cat, which includes a blast weapon. So my cat does blast damage now. is actually kind of amazing, and I love it. Would recommend. Would not recommend shooting Scatternuts. I thought I had a missing prod. There we go. I was like, why am I only doing one hit on a piercing prod? That's not ideal. Oh! Oh, crap. I am a talented hunter. I've played this game before, I know how it works. Clearly also know how to run into stamina constantly. It was free oh, I thought he was leaving. I was like, oh I can dick around over here, he's gonna leave. gonna save the capture for somebody else. I'm gonna just straight murder him. Like so. Come on, let me carve you. And I hope the cat got a to gear from him too. got a bug. I heard it fall. I heard it. Oh, maybe they're just attacking. Fine. Screw you, bugs. Now we will actually track the Kuliaku. The, the bugs are saying it's not down this way. The bugs are saying it's up? Alright. I guess this is slightly shorter to the bugs, I couldn't have taken the low road. And he's just chilling over here. Oh, we busted their house. I mean, we didn't. Their house got busted. Hey, Kuliaku. We got nothing to shoot at you. That's fine too. Just run away, I guess. Head to fight here? That's fine. We can do this. Get a sweet platform to jump off of for you. Apparently, it didn't mount, but that's fine. We're going to get so many investigations from this now. Oh, and we're gonna bounce off a rock. Drop the rock. Ah, I tried for the full hit. Getting greedy. I just stole the charge them too. The exact same greed. We'll go for the mount though. We might really give that a shot. Or not. Or try us a charm, right? Yeah. Did we just. Is he already poisoned or did we poison him from backstabs with a poison weapon? I'm not entirely sure. I'm gonna have to science that at some point. 
could have also poisoned him with the initial mounting hit. It could very easily have been the case. Who's got a sleep weapon? Uh, he's trap ready. But screw it. It's right there, he's sleeping. Why not? What? These guys? Ah, it might have been. Alright, they might have been the one to help, too. Shinies. I was trying not to hurt these guys, because I think we're trying to make friends with them, but they're going to shoot me. I'm going to stop them. Stage man. Oh, so they're like the, the black hats from previous games. They drop stuff when they leave. Oh, sleep knife. Our first one, apparently. Jagras. Uh, I always have issues cracking Jagras. I don't know why. For some reason, I never seem to be able to find him quickly, but I think this way will help me out. Bigger wasp? Please and thank you. I usually tend to go to the southwest. Maybe northwest along this path might do better. Maybe, or maybe not. Who knows? We're going to try along the way anyway. I also don't remember what's up here. Pretty much nothing. Some bugs. would be why I don't take that path very often. Oh, max blue mushroom's fine. There's the Jaggers. At least finding tracks helps us. Yeah, yeah, you want to attack me. That's great. But where's your friend? Actually, if they're going to be dicks, uh, we need Jaggers materials, so... Oh, you're getting tamed. Okay. His exploit on the tiny little guy. Almost so bad. Almost. More Jagger scales while we're here. We need the Jagger scales and we need mining. But I don't think we're near. Eh. I know a few mining spots here, but I'll hit them another time. Oh, hey, big guy. How you doing? Got some some food? Shame if somebody, you know, smacked you really hard. Instead of really hard, I guess really lightly, you know. Maybe this just to troll him. The fact that he's weak to fire makes these actually add up a bit. They've definitely nerfed him since the beta, which is good. They needed it. Either both the damage and I think their rate of ticking is definitively lower, which is good. They needed that. 429. That's actually a damage record for me, I believe. In terms of single big hits, I think that's my record. Not even in the blue sharpness of the weapon, either. That would have made it better. I thought to sharpen. How about one of these? Blinded and poisoned. He's weak to just everything and everywhere. And to 51, I'll take it. He's not gonna live. 
Is he? Like, he's not even gonna have time to run away. Oh, okay. He also might kill me. All my beating up of him. His damage doesn't mess around. Look at all the shinies. Look at all the shinies! I have to screen cap all those. If I've got time to do it. I don't care about piercing pod, but I do care about material. And maybe some carves. Look at all of that. Oh man. The screen cap doesn't even really show it because there were two under him that we don't see. Anything else I can grab in the area? Really quick. Probably not. 20 seconds. Come on. Something. Anything. Something to gather. Not a footprint. Alright. A bug. Good. That counts. Yeah, the whole mantle plus cat really feeds my shiny whoredom really badly, in a good way. I was just gonna take all of it. Sure, we got some stuff we need. What's that? Oh, plume. Okay. And some stuff. That's just extra. Tons of cash. Anjanath has invaded the area. Find and hunt the Anjanath. Yeah, we knew about that. Don't want to do that yet. I don't want to do that without... Capture Pro. Hey, new trophy. Ooh, tell me. Tell me that's another rare one. Come on. Tell me that's another rare one. Not as rare as the hunt. Oh, no. The uh, other one I had that was really rare. I should sort of my rarity. There you go. This is still my rarest. But this is pretty rare. Zero point six percent of people have this trophy. I'm getting some rare monster hunter trophies. I like that. I'm also a trophy whore. Also well documented fact. Trophy and shiny whore. That is me. Loading any time now. Well, that troublemaker is gonna make even more. Yeah, yeah, troublemaker. We know. But we need gear. Like I get, I they're trying to be like, hey, do the story stuff. But I'm like, no, no, gear, gear and money, really. A little bit of A, a little bit of B. We need like, no, not yet. Mining outcrops, because we need to do that anyway. Great Jaggers. Right, first of all, any of these got lots of cash. Oh, we got these from the cats. I was like, wait, why are we getting low rank things? Capture Odogaran. I think I can get rid of any low rank one at this rate. I'm going to keep the ones I've already got in case people need them. Somebody's like, oh, I need uh, Odogaran bits. I'm like, cool, I got, I got one for that. Beyond that, I'm not going to go too much. Into Puke Puke with two silvers and a decent amount of cash. Great Jagras, nah. 30 minutes, which is fine. I still like this one. Decent cash, it went quick enough. Get materials from everything. Puke Puke. Yeah, we're doing alright. But of course, back to see if we can make anything. Oh, hold on, also. I keep checking to see if the, the other dude's back. I don't remember where he sets up. 
What is not here right now? Hi. Ever check to see if any of these account items go here or are automatically sold? Hey, we got bird wyvern gems. We're saving those though. The plates actually sparkle in the inventory. Kinda wonderful. We only have eight Anjanov plates, you know. That's fine. Watcher lens, we could just, Ah, here we go. Eggs. They don't auto sell. Means that's why we're doing this. That's sweet cash, yo. A uh, large scale also don't auto sell. Yeah, see, there we go. Bandit Mantle paying for itself. Why we use this thing, man? 800 each? Yeah, it's a start. Golden scale. And gilded scale. Now I don't feel poor. I feel a lot less poor now. Wonderful news. And as long as we keep using this mantle, we should have at least some steady influx of Mine's cash. You busy. For monsters? Yeah. We're doing a good job. Thank you. I want to put word out to all members of the field team. Let's notice that the situation out in the field has gotten more dire. No kidding. So pull his fingers, expanded the canteen. You mentioned gains. I don't know. It's hard to understand that. Yeah. Ninja should be complete by the time we're finished with Anjanath. Yeah, I get it. Doing Anjanath will make things better, which is wonderful. I want gear. Also, don't know how I'm going to handle Anjanath without better defense. So, yeah. Not going in there half cocked. Come on, armor. Let me make you. Nothing. Need more ore and carapace and toxin sack. I did use all my toxin sacks on the weapon. That's on me. Um, my wrath chest, I can make crit eye. A flat 3%, but I don't think... Nah, it's not really helpful right now. Rather keep what I got. Make attack boost 2? Oh, that would give us plus 9 total. With our charm... That would give us attack boost 4. One from weapon, one from charm, one from that. So that would give us affinity and attack plus 12 total. That's actually kind of tempting. Yeah, yeah. There we go. Maybe not our best plan. Maybe don't care. This is good defense. Gets us the best right now. Well, obviously, the Zora Magdalos, which we can't make. Um, Bearhoth gets us. And Puke gets us 210 as well, actually. So even if we just keep making Puke Puke, that's our highest defense. And Butterfly. Really? Really, really. That good. Botanist, really good for gathering. Man, if we're going on gathering things. Uh, but it doesn't do mining, it's just everything but mining. And no bones. Damn it! Can charms be leveled past three? Uh, none of the ones I've seen. But I can check now. Maybe we have new charms or we have new levels of them. Increase in vulnerability window. Ooh, man, we might actually have to want to make that. It'll increase sheathing speed. Damn! Ooh, quick sheath three. Keep of faith, don't care. One extra honey, don't care. We're gathering points, we're spawning, that's nice. Oh, Let me check that charm for you, though. Let's see. Upgrade level. I'm just gonna keep quick scroll. I don't see any of them that can go past three. Ooh, but you get some that got double. Master Gather Carve Pro. Pro Transporter Honey Hunter, that's a weird combo. I guess it's good to have Pro Transporter on something, though. Barbecue Master, Master Fisher, ooh. It's time window for reading and fish. 
We might actually grab that. A lot of these sound fun for like gathering quests. Maybe not general hunting. Master Blindsider. Marathon Runner. Special ammo boost. Crit draw. Oh boy, do I want a crit draw. Uh, and nothing is stopping me from making it, actually. At all. But I don't want to use it right now anyway, because we got to attack up four currently. So it doesn't look like anyone I can make can be leveled past three. Doesn't mean none of them, just means I don't know yet. Hey, Creepazoid, welcome to Viperland in the chat. It's going pretty alright. While we're here, I should probably do some of uh, this. There you go, armor pigment. Oh, it doesn't see until I put... Ew, okay. It's... like green goes with this. Yeah, none of it's great, though. Can we do black? Yeah. Yeah. Oceans will be happy when he gets here, because he gets the full... Do you know what? We're actually going to... We're going to do some purple, too. We're going poison. Uh, don't... Can't confirm. Yes. Okay, we're also going to do something I've been putting off for the longest goddamn time. I'm going to go to this. We're going to edit... Radial menu. This... That. Register it so I don't have to keep doing that. At least with this one. I'll worry about the other ones later, but this is one I use most often. So from here, you could either do a solo Puke Puke hunt, which is pretty tempting. Also, yeah, I forgot to check these. Uh, two lumps of meat. Amidst just let me know that apparently the two lumps of meat quite isn't as bad as I thought it might be. And it will get us more food. We'll definitely take a break to do these guys at some point. I want to finish up these quests. And up here we've got a lot. That I should do just to get them out of the list. Really? They got us a wrath already? Wow. They're just like, hey, high rank. Do it yourself. Have not made the Renasus Beetle armor yet? Uh, no. Not yet. Not in high rank, at least. I made it in low rank. Crown of one anger. We got two rats? Oh, different areas. Got it. Chef quest four forgotten fossils. Yeah. Special arena puke puke. I'm gonna do the uh, the puke puke arena. Actually, we need to hunt them anyway, and I want to get the optional quest out of the way. Hello, lightning ketchup. Welcome to Viperland in the chat. On a wonderful, finally high rank, Moss Hunter World stream. With the arena quest out of the way, which also lets us just straight murder him. Oh, it means we don't use. Zora followed me? Yeah. Uh, it's a follower normally goes by the name Giddy Kitty. They like to make random accounts of monster names and other stuff. Did I get the Kieran set? That's one of the few that I haven't finished up. I feel like I'm just gonna finish this Puke Puke set and then go back and do it. Unless I'm weak to lightning in this. Hold on. I just want to poison the hell out of. Kieran. Am I weak to lightning? Of course I'm weak to lightning in this set. Son of a... Monkey's uncle. Alright, uh, well, we'll figure something out. I clearly proved I could take down the Kirin, but it took forever. So I figured a slightly better weapon, maybe a little more defense, wouldn't hurt the matter. But I will. I need that. I need a few coral crystals. I like the fight. I was terrible at it, but I like it. Also, the new look is phenomenal. Uh, seeing Kieran in HD is absolutely beautiful. Damn it. Never tell the difference between when he's going to throw me off and when he's not. 32 minutes? Yeah, it took me 27 solo. So that sounds about right. He is absolutely majestic as hell. I love it so much. But speeding it up a little wouldn't hurt me. Oh. Oh, of course he was going to do that. Well, whoops. 
I'd say no pain, no gain. But we had no gain. We just had pain. Finally getting multiple skills per armor piece is really nice, though. Low rank was fun. I had a great time. Yeah, blue sharpness. Also, the sword actually extends spikes when you charge it. It's wonderful. Actually, pretty much just when it's unsheathed, but you know, whatever. No spikes on the back. Spikes. And it's cool. Though, fighting a poison guy with a poison weapon, maybe not smart. You know, that's how we roll, though. Also still my highest raw, so... Come on. Really? Okay. That's fine. That's fine. Everything's good. That wasn't stupid or anything. This mantle fuels all of my shiny whoredom. Absolutely fuels all of my ability to love shinies. <sighs> okay, that tail just didn't get hit. Fine, nothing wrong with that. Nothing stupid about that at all. See, that one I missed. I can't say anything because I totally missed. Shinies. Definitely overcharged. My bad. Hey, no help more having to worry about that tail. Maybe you don't poison me. Maybe you don't poison me. Okay, fine. Fine, fine, fine. We might die. Damn it! Rick! Okay. <sighs> oh, your friend used it. What's the trade in items for? Oh, it's just uh, the trade in items are just money. Which is great, because I want to make a lot of weapons and a lot of armor, so I need money, 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 money. You can also get materials from them, too. It's not exclusively money, but it is predominantly money. <sighs> to be fair, roughly 60 hours of playtime, 19 carts, it's not too bad. You do have to manually sell them. They're not, like, automatically traded in for points or cash or anything. I'm stupid. Combat carve, though. Gotta do it. Very important. I just sold all of mine and I went from like 4k to 10k selling the eggs I've gathered over the time which is like 4 eggs and whatever like materials I've gotten from using this for a while and my cat my cat helps too so I, I am feeling better about my monetary situation in the game yeah cat blast damage is wonderful by the way getting that occasional extra 120 just from cats hitting things uh, gives me life under like 1k yeah i was doing great because i do a lot of investigation quests and they're great for money but then the armor charm and power charm came up and i was like hey look all my money's gone and then i started making more weapons and i was like oh look all my money's gone why am i fighting him up here we can at least attempt to throw rocks at him down here and then dragonator we're gonna dragonator the fool that's how this goes there's no point in fighting in the arena if you're not gonna dragonator the fool right Ice oh, coming to me. Okay. Investigations are fantastic. The only reason they wouldn't be is if you're trying to speed run the game. If you're in a hurry to get to end game, investigations aren't great. But if you're a normal human being who wants to get monster bits and is enjoying having fun, investigations are life. What? Uh, I hit cross instead of circle. Yeah, I don't know what you're talking about about building all the armors. I wouldn't do that. Definitely. See, these rocks are evil, because I'm, I would do way more damage just simply hunting the fool. But I keep trying to shoehorn in the rocks, which is just going to do less damage than I would normally do. Oh, oh, I can use Dragonator. Good night, fool. Stand there? Cool. <laughs> wombo combo. I've been wombo comboed by so many monsters. Now I get to do it. 
It's nice to have the power on my side. Oh, bastard. Okay, that's... Hey, we poisoned him finally. Considering how much plus poison we have, it would be crazy if we didn't. Oh, yeah, Odegaron was intense. I would never thought I'd be, like, so scared of such a small monster. Small, she's large, I guess, but... His intimidation isn't in size, it's in tenacity. Normally it's like, oh man, big monsters are gonna do big damage. For him it was like, no. And he's clever, too. He's got that stupid move where he feigns like you knocked him down. Like, ha, huh, JK, and charges right at your face. You evil bastard. Also, his armor is what got me going straight back to Greatsword. I'm like, oh no, I'm not going to do Greatsword in, in World, at least not to start. I always do Greatsword. And then I saw his armor and I was like, well, got to do Greatsword now. It's just so good Greatsword armor. And then once you get the Diablo's Helm on top of it, it's like, well, why do I even use another weapon? Well, he flips around, and the... When he does that, like, jaws open charge at you, it's intimidating as hell watching that just rush at your face. You're like, no, I'm no, no, that's not what I need. Hello, Pos uh, Pospy. Welcome to Viperland and the chat. Yeah, I love Great Sword. I keep trying to use other weapons, and every other weapon I've used, I've had a great time with, for what it's worth. But man, is it good to go back to Great Sword. I'm pretty, like, if you do low rank Autogaron full armor but with Diablos helmet, you get crit draw, KO draw, speed sharpening, speed sheathing, and crit I1. You're just a great sword machine. Especially if you're hitting the head, like, just rip the monster. I got so many sword crit KOs drawn on the head, like, it's fantastic. It's fantastic. Would highly recommend. Now I've got a poison greatsword. I didn't intend to go status greatswording, but here we are. No, that's how it goes. I've got a pretty sweet para greatsword. It needs a little bit of a level to get it to high rank, but it's it's close. And uh, the para greatsword is my favorite. Because I don't know if you guys have seen what the Para Greatsword looks like yet. I'm going to show you in a second. There's a reason it's my favorite. I can't believe I fainted. I needed that cash money. Really needed that cash money. A little salty about it. A little bit salty. But what can you do? You live some, you die some. You get back up and try it again. And I'm getting a ton of cash from other sources anyway. So quest cash is less... Integral. Oh, it's still really nice. I got a poison sack, so I'm getting closer. I don't remember. Well, that troublemaker is gonna make even more Money's trouble split now. See, I'm playing solo pretty exclusively for now, so it doesn't affect me. The reason the Paragrade Sword, that's the wrong button, has become quickly my favorite of the game so far. It's legitimately just got a, a para viper on the blade. Like, come on. It's a black and gold paralysis viper. I know it's a, a great Garros, but whatever. Doesn't matter. Look at that. Well, see, Lightning Ketchup, then you just use the bandit mantle and you get all that money for yourself. So, like, I have to love this sword because look at it. Look at it. I love it. But the poison one is my better weapon right now. We do lose 15% affinity, but we gain a good raw and some blue sharpness and two sockets. So, like, it's the better choice. Oh, do we have anything better here? No, not really. Alright, back to seeing if we got some stuff. But once we can level that para armor, we'll be doing so. Or the para weapon. And then we'll make an armor set to go with it. I think the high rank Vespoid 
Dust Void armor goes with it for para attack. I think it would make sense if it did. Puke, so we're still short. Three Carbolite Ore. So we'll just have to go on a mining run real quick. No, you can't mine charms, but you can get decorations. Mine decorations now. Not charms, though. Charms all seem to be crafted. Get to that. Spore Puff Expert. Yeah, just two more Carbolite Ore. I'm gonna set it there just so it lets me know when I've got enough, but I'm pretty sure I can keep track of two. Pretty sure I can keep track of two. And we'll have full armor. Looking snazzy. And ready to maybe level up a little bit. Oh wait, while we're here, what do we need for the great sword other upgrade? This one's not gonna upgrade for a while. I probably should have just made a different one for now. This one, ah, uh, haven't even fought what we need. Okay, so we don't know. When I get the full armor set, even though I'm gonna be weak to lightning, we'll try another Kirin maybe. Start getting. Hold on, what else? Did I need? Pretty sure we're close to mission low rank. We still need death stench, but the cat's gotta bring us that. Yeah, Kirin, we need all of but the boots. Alvos is done, Wrath is done, Odogaran is done. We need death stench head, legs, and ingot pants. And our cats are going to get us coral crystals right now, so I can be lazy. That should be it. I believe the entire rest of it is done. Yeah. Also, can I just mention, I'm so glad they kept the Kirin Greatsword looking the way it's supposed to look. Like, I was worried with the new way things look, it was going to be different. No, Kirin Greatsword looks the way it should look. That's the only way you can have Kirin Greatsword. I was so worried they were going to have, like, a steel sword with some Kirin bits, which works great for a lot of other weapons. I like the new system. But you can't change the Kirin Greatsword. That's important. I'm not even going to do that. I'm just going to go gathering. Let's do an expedition. Do it the lazy way. Do we need to eat for it? Probably not. Why waste the cash? Alright. Out there. I've got to watch out for the wrath, but we're just mining anyway. Maybe could have found better areas to mine, but screw it. We're going to this one. Hopefully, to the surprise of nobody that has done any watching of my stream of World so far, we're going to be making a lot of high-rank armors. They want me to go straight to an Anjanath, I don't want to go straight to an Anjaneth. I want to make armor. And weapons. I want to upgrade some weapons too. I feel like I should probably commit to status great sword because I've started. I didn't mean to. All my other status weapons were sword and shields, which would work a lot better. But you know. Yeah, duh. Supplies. Got them. Mining. We only found a few mining nodes that are red around here. Great Jagras, not gonna hunt him right now. I'm not here for hunting this particular time. Specifically here for ore and whatever other gatherables. Bone piles would be great. I'm doing gathering mining with investigations too. Oh, that's not a bad idea. Because then you get the double whammy of some extra cash when you're done. And the drops. It's definitely not a terrible idea. Did I get punked on in HR yet? Nope. Uh, I mean, I died once or twice just by being stupid, but I haven't actually been completely stopped yet. So no, not yet. We're just doing some gathering, some armor crafting. Almost got the Puke Puke set done with the Puke Puke Greatsword. Oh, that's true. I keep forgetting you can get the upsurge on them. That's something I should keep an eye out for. You're right. 
Good idea. I mean, I'm already out on this one, so for this run I may as well, but that's a very good point you bring up. I'll keep an eye out for those. I've pretty much just been looking at monsters, drops, and extra zenny, but now I get a bunch of zenny on my own, so I may as well, you know, check out other stuff too. I haven't even carded three times off-camera. Legitimately, I didn't do any off-camera hunting. No, I did one off-camera hunt last night, then I went to sleep. So, I honestly didn't. But yeah, of course it gets harder. That's what makes it better. Alright, Caravalite Ore. We're not done with yet. Damn it. All that field research. You can tell I take field research for mining because I do a lot of mining. Uh, more mining should be in here. And it's weak limping, mine for this time. Good idea. Yeah, makes sense. Makes a lot of sense, actually. I feel like my problem is I'd forget. I'd get easily distracted and go, Yeah, I'm gonna murder this thing! And I'd get murder eyes and forget. Though, still, strong idea. Uh, I didn't come here to murder him, but if he's just sleeping right here, it's so tempting. More ore. Probably have some on the map. Oh, you know, that'll work too. And there's a bone pile around. Herbalate and bone piles are the ones we need. Yeah, it gets harder to make the pieces you need, but each piece is inherently better. Higher defense, more skills, you know. Yeah, I especially great sword. Something about wielding a great sword. Puts murder in my eyes. Great swords and specifically uh, gun lances too. But I've got a gun lance. I'm like, I just want to make everything explode. Why? Why should I stop hunting it? Why should I capture it when I can wyvern fire it? Which is not necessarily the best thing to do. Oh, we're just circling now, aren't we? And I know some ore can spawn on like the left hand side of the map too. We may as well grab herbs and stuff if we spot it, because we get all those bonuses to it. Herbs, plants, and whatnot. Got all these botany points. Gotta pay off somehow. Da -da. These fools. Going everywhere to capture all the pets. Oh, I need to do more pet capture runs. I've gotten a bunch. I have a lot of pets. I even have one that's apparently rare and I didn't know it, which is crazy. Which is great. It means I didn't have to hunt it down. But yeah, I agree. I need to do more. I need to just go into every nook and can cranny. I've heard people have gotten giant uh, vigor wasps. Never seen one of those yet. I want one. All sorts of stuff everywhere and I want it. I want it all. Yes, I would also like to try and catch one of every type. And I very specifically want to try to do it without a guide. Oh, there's a there's a creature I've only spotted once and I missed it. And I'm beginning to believe it doesn't even exist. Have you seen the baby chicks? Have you spotted those yet? In my almost 60 hours of this game, I've spotted them once. And I missed. Potions has seen them twice and has also missed. They're just, it's a line of baby, like, chickens. They look and sound like baby chickens. And they walk in a line, and they tend to follow the, uh, little rabbit-looking things. Yeah, I've seen them once. Singular time. Oceans has spotted them twice, and he missed two. Ah, uh, it's, it's heart-wrenching to think, like, I had them. I could have had them. Uh, I found them in the Wild Spire Waste. Those two rabbits that are right outside that first initial base camp. I was trying to find the red rabbit. And instead of getting the red one, which I eventually got... Oh, oh, we need to leave. We need to leave. Oh, it's Puke Puke. Never mind. Pretty much ignore him. I, I swear. Uh, you, it's If you check the clips of my channel, I don't remember which one it was. But somebody clipped it. They're like, this, it exists. I have video proof. It exists. Also video proof of my ability to miss 
all of my attempts to capture it. But it it's a thing. But I've never seen it again. And I'd, I would have just been like, oh, well, clearly it's a hoax or something. Except Potions found it in his game. Uh, we got the ore we needed, so we can probably leave for now. Rarity 7? Yeah, probably. So that's... That's my white whale so far. My, it's out there. It's out there somewhere. I'll find it. Doing the red wiggler thing? Yeah. Wait, red, red wiggler thing? You mean the sneaky wiggler guys? Or do you mean like the, the rabbit type thing? Because I've seen the red rabbits. I've caught one. I've never seen a red wiggler. In which case, I need to find those guys because I want one. I'm going to run on the assumption there's probably a rare version of pretty much every creature out there. There's a red wiggler. Well, ooh, okay, well, gotta find that. Good to know. See, I need to find these. It seems like there must be a rare of each one. Uh, I found a rare, one of the, those, like, that's better to just show. I can't remember what they're called. Those, like, just better to show. Hold on. Uh, what? Zora Magdros has appeared? Check the optional quest list? Hold on. What? Ramandros' optional quest has been unlocked. Quest will randomly appear when you finish any quest or return to Astera for an expedition. Once it appears, it will stay on the quest list for a period of two quests, so don't let the opportunity pass by. Um. Yeah, okay. Augurfly? No, I got one of them. Uh, we might do that in a minute, because I could really use some of his bits. I'll show you. It's one of the flying bird things, but one of the, like... It's easier to just show. Yeah, I will probably do that one right now. I could use the bits. I got enough pieces. These guys, these birds. Apparently, this one is rare. I was just capturing a bunch of what I thought was those guys up there, and I caught one of these guys. I didn't even realize I was putting it in the room. It's like, oh, it's rare. I also hope there's a rare one of these guys, because I love these birds. I really hope there's a rare one. The golden fish? I meant these guys, yeah. I don't know if it's golden fish, but... Yeah. The, either this one or that one is rare. I'm not sure which. I hope there's a rare one of these. I do have a golden fish in here, though, by the way. I got a golden fish. Yay. And I like the wigglers. If there is a red one, I gotta catch one. I got my, my rare... Cube over here. We've got my aura fly up here. Oh, I love the level 3 room just for the space it has and the tranquility of it all. Though they really should put up mosquito netting or something because, you know, common sense. Let's see if my cat's got any of what I need so far. They did. Cool. We needed coral crystals. That's the entire reason we sent them out was coral crystals. Everything else is just extra. What about the giant bug fly? I don't have one yet. Uh, I've heard... I do have these guys, though. They're just chilling up there. I could put other things up there, but why would I? Why? Level 3 room feels too fancy? I agree. It's some fancy stuff. Can't dispute that. Oh, we had a login bonus. Forgot to do that. Yeah, a voucher. Some luck vouchers. Got them. So we're going to finish the armor. We're going to probably do Sora Magdros. I was going to do something else, but you know. We'll do Zora Magdros. Hope that goes well. We'll do Kirin. Uh, hope that goes well. well that troublemaker is gonna make even more the trouble main issue is that I'm weak to electricity in this armor, but my defense goes up quite a bit, and we're going to up it even more. I assume we'll use this armor for at least a little bit. We can always keep... Uh... I always actually try this sucker. We'll buy Thunder Blight and Paralysis. And reduce Thunder Damage for 180 seconds. That might be nice to have. We'll see. Either way, we're going to do Zora first, because if it's time limited, obviously we're going to do it. Want something making? Oh, yeah, son. Puke A. I guess it's Alpha, isn't it? I, I say A, but it's pretty much Alpha. He's done. 
We are full Pukade out. Poison attack is wonderful. Botanist won't matter for bigger hunts, but it's still nice. The herb, fruit, nut, seed, insect. Oh, if we get one more point, we get the mushroom. That's what it is. Okay. Spore puffs won't matter for big fights. Uh, but it might matter for Kirin. I know there are spore puffs around Kirin. Poison resist won't help for Zora Magdalos. You get attack up plus two. That's something. Sleep resist. Eh. It was the only decoration I had. Item Pearl Longer. Presumably that works for mantles, I assume. And Divine Blessing. Doing alright. Not the absolute best set, but it's not awful. Uh, okay, so we need something we don't have to upgrade it for now. Ow. Wow, okay. That went from, eh, you know, it's a sword, to really impressive looking. Quickly. The chicks, you saw the clip, right? They exist, and they're adorable, and they sound like they should. Hold on a second. Alright, sorry about that. My nephew was knocking out the door. Had to say hey. I meant to actually check some of these then. Some of these look quite a bit different. Under element, can't see it yet. I guess when they go to the square, they look different. Gyros, we can't see yet. Yeah, that's gotta be the different looks to them, right? Bear off. Yeah, see, it goes from that to that. Okay. So that's what those borders are. I was always wondering what those were. Goes on a poke hunt. Good luck. I hope you find them. And if you catch it, and in the description it gives some sort of hint as to how to get them to spawn, let me know. I could really use that. Ooh. Ooh. Not as impressive looking as I would have thought, but it doesn't matter. It's got blast damage. Alright. Needs a gem. Boo hiss. Alright. Real quick, we'll upgrade the armor bits a little. We only have 125 of these. I don't know what we're going to do. Oh, damn. This is 12 per upgrade. It brings me from 42 to 48. Okay, that's good enough. Next week, farming weapons probably. Oh, weapon farming is going to be so expensive and so worth it. But, yeah. A lot to it. Last little bit of defense we can. Squeeze out all these. Probably shouldn't blow all my spheres on this. Actually, I should blow all my low-level spheres just to get those out of the way. Um, those the wrong greaves. Totally used the wrong greaves. Whoops. Nobody saw that. Nobody saw that. I guess those basic level origin greaves are a little stronger now. Cool. Gonna head off? Alright, oh yeah, it's probably getting late for you indeed. Thanks for tuning in for a bit. Best of luck on your pokey hunt. And see you around. Almost good. Armor's good. Gloves are good. Waste is not. I missed that. Ash is going down quickly. Really? Oh, yeah, duh. Alright. As defensive as we can get. We're gonna go into this. I don't think we're gonna poison Zora Magdalos very effectively, but you know. What we're gonna do anyway. Left quite the impression. I assume it's the same fight as the last time. I assume. I'm going to use a voucher on it. But I'm going to run on the assumption it's not a different fight.
Don't really need traps or anything, but whatever. We do need to eat. I'm going to either eat for heavy artillery, if they have it, or defensively, because I don't feel like attack up matters in this fight, to me at least. Polisher, Provoker, should be under Gunner, right? Bombardier. Ballista, sticky ammo, gun last shell damage. Hoping it would also do cannon damage. Ah, yeah, whatever. Attack up small is good enough too. Hopefully we get Bombardier. Maybe a water weapon will work? That would almost certainly be true. I don't have any decent water weapons. This has got more raw than what we got, so it's what I'm going to use. If I had a water weapon, I mean, I might have smaller water weapons, but I feel like the higher raw and sharpness will do better for me than a water weapon, though, you know, maybe I'm wrong. This is what I'm going to roll with for now. Oh yeah! I like the concept of us just constantly slapping him back out to sea, like, no, leave, stop, get away. And he keeps coming back in, like, but I want to go this way. He is just massive, though. Hunters, we need to weaken Zora Magdaros enough to capture it. Once you're on its back, give away. Right, they actually give us items this time. Do we have slinger ammo? Because that would help a lot. Proceed with caution. Uh, Destroy the magma cores to weaken Zora Magdros. Yeah, I know. I know the what target. they're saying. Hey, partner. I was looking for rocks or something to pick up. But you know, whatever. We'll pick them up on the Zora Magdros. I have the feeling this is one I probably should be doing with a group. But, you know, too late now. Especially because I've got a bad habit of getting hit by magma cores really hard. Oh, we, we could use a cool drink. Do we have a cool drink? Do we have supplies with cool drinks? Of course we didn't. Alright, well, you know. Be a rock or something. It's mining. Close. It's tempting. I know it's possible to gather some rocks and stuff off the back. But here we are missing anyway. Watch me fail this hunt too. After using a voucher? Bet you I fail. Bet you I do. More mining. All right. Stalactite's coming up, I'm aware. Or mining. I mean, mining's great. I want to do mining, but... I had a rock to throw. Ballista ammo. Is that it? Is that it? Is that it? Okay. Oh, we totally missed it, didn't we? Okay, cool. Just can't go that way means we can't hit it, right? Wonderful. Oh yeah, no, I'm... Any frustration I have is with my own inability to know the fight at this rate. I'll learn it as I do it. I tend to like the scripted fights. Most people tend to hate them. I, get, I hear a lot of hate for scripted fights a lot of the time. I tend to have fun with them. I can understand why people don't like them. I get it. And I'm sure if I had to farm it, like dozen times. I'm sure people were tired of Sneak Urgent, please, but as a general rule, they're big and epic. Maybe it's because I don't straight... Ooh, that's gonna hurt. Straight farm them like a million times in a row. That probably helps. So we've done nothing in this way. Now it's gonna hit me. I almost died to these fools last time. 
Oh, okay. We were up there. <sighs> this is wonderful. I never claim to be good at big things like this. Alright. The problem is, I bet you those stalactites are really helpful to have. Nope, don't dodge into it, you fool! Dodge away from it! Ah, oh, okay. Stalactites probably do a whole ton of damage on this. Ah, oh, it's gonna sting, isn't it? No, it didn't hit me. Oh, wonderful. Binder's ready. That helps. Okay, got one. Beautiful. Which means we can go down here. Oh, I really want to do all the mining, but I really don't want to fail the hunt. If I end up doing this one with a ton of time left. Oh, crap. Forgot about that. Should have done this one first. Yep, thank you. He's gonna school me. I know that. Use of the stalactites, yep. Thank you. Oh, and he's all the way at the front. Well, whatever. Next time we start at the back and work our way up. Like a smart hunter. Oh, tell me I can't get across there. Alright, gotta go around. I mean, as frustrating as it can be, I like the concept of like, oh man, it's blocked off by lava. Lava, of course that would happen. It's very much making sense a thing that would happen. I'm working on it. Gonna go say hi to him now. Did that not hit? Alright. Apparently rocks just don't have the distance I thought they did. Oh, that could be bad. <laughs> yeah, buddy. 500. I mean, not bad. Is Nair Gigante still... Gonna mess with us? Oh, uh, yeah, he is. Okay. No regrets, except for missing. I figure if I can get a mount on him, that would probably help. Alright, maybe not. He <laughs> gonna slow at your tail. He's totally gonna ruin me, and I know it. Won't be very difficult to do either. This is the same strategy I used for uh, Ormagala the first time I ended up doing him in For You. Stay underneath the fool! Doesn't have a lot of attacks that hit you underneath. Wow, that was, I mean, cool. <sighs> okay, I was tremored there, that's fine. I can all fours. Not sure what we'll be hitting from here. Alright, we're gonna take a moment to mine, though. I'm sure we need those. Got it. Magma cores. Working on it. Is it? I didn't destroy. Well, I destroyed one, but. Gonna go for the big one up here. Getting close to any stalactites? No, those are kind of an early thing apparently. I guess after a while they're like, nah, we're done with those. Damn it. The loot obsession will be the death of me. But even if we somehow fail the hunt, we keep the loot.
Go ahead. Can we get out of range of the heat? Yeah. Time to get the hell out of Dodge. Uh, not sure if I'd be able to dodge that or not, so when in doubt, block everything. Are we? I thought I was doing pretty okay. Crap, that's gonna hurt. Damn it. Alright, so I guess we did as much as we could, which... One out of four? I don't think that was phenomenal. Over here. But hey. Hold nothing back. We did what we could. Okay. Dragonator and cannons on the ship. Yep, we got stuff up here too. Don't really need to worry about sharpening the weapon anymore. Ralphie being an awesome cat already loaded the crap out of the cannon. I wonder how much different it, is, it makes if you do get all the cores or not, like, I guess it does more damage to them. Each hit there is at least, like, each full charge there was at least a cannonball shot here. So that saves something at least. Oh no, I seem to have higher okay. cannon damage too. La -da -da. Yeah, they... It's still scripted, but I feel like there's more to do in it. You feel part of it, and I'm okay with it. Maybe if I do it a dozen more times, I'll be like, eh, you know. Man, there's something fun about fairly simple, scripted, massive monsters. Something cool about that. And his armor looks really cool, so I want it. It's really cool. Ah, damn it, we're out of those. All right. Ralphie, you an awesome cat. Are you aimed well? Almost. Uh, yeah, give it to him. Beautiful. Great job, Ralphie. I can imagine how cool this must look with, like, four different people on four different cannons firing at him at the same time. Imagine syncing that all up. It's true, it's random so you're not you don't feel like, oh, I have to do this like a dozen times in a row. It's spread out. Yeah, okay. Okay. I'll try the Dragonator soon ish. I know he's kinda close to it. Oh, alright. I have a Dragonator. Well, blow him up first. That still did almost no damage to the barrier. La -de -da -de -da, over this way. You're not sure you can actually fail the quest? I'm sure it's possible. I don't plan on finding out though. Okay. If you can, I don't want it to be me. Yeah, he's right there, isn't he? Uh, just safe. No, no. Yep. Are those? No, I'm not holding anything back. To get that great camera angle of it too. Yeah. Got the binder. And while we're here, oh, the music helps too. You guys got all these loaded like badasses. Okay, well we missed that one, but whatever. You're still cool. Keep up the good work down there. Up, up and away. And it also helps that it's just damn pretty. Like, it's a really epically sized monster. I know graphics aren't everything, that's very much true. Hey, Force of Nemesis is now following. Thank you very much for the follow, very much appreciated. I wish we hit more of those shots against that fool. Hope you're enjoying me bumbling through hunts. All right, let's give you regular ballista ammo. Okay, wow, one damage, really? I know he's weaker on the body, but... Ah, 17. Okay. I am an idiot sometimes. But we can also... We have to one-shot binder, didn't we? Yeah. Oh, didn't we? 
Alright, screw it, whatever. I swear I grabbed it, but the game's like, no you didn't, Viper. Alright, Ralphie should have this one locked and loaded. Should've checked the aim first, but it looks like we're strong. Yeah. Okay. Ralphie being best cat, continuing. Thank you, I noticed. That's probably not good. Yep. That's super not good. Actually didn't hurt me nearly as bad as I thought it might. But I needed that cannon. Really did. Uh-oh. Man, this is a strong barrier though, man. When something this big can slap it and spit fire over it, and it loses like a twentieth of its maximum durability. Okay. It's alright. Now that I know... Oh, damn it, that hurt. No, the one in the story was actually super strong, too. Maybe this one's a little stronger, but it's not a huge difference. The story one was... You hit it, like, five times, and it was, like, not even past a quarter health. It was strong as hell. This barrier is just made out of, like, immortal materials. Uh-oh. Oh, no, he's just backing up. Okay. Yeah, backing up is fine. You obnoxious bird, people. You know what? Just because I can <laughs> Alright. We staggered him with a great sword swing. That's all I needed. That's it. Oh, hold on. Ralphie being a boss. I don't know if the aim's good, though. Yep, aim's fine. Good job, Ralph. Continuing to prove to be the best cat. We staggered him with a great sword swing. I didn't know it was possible either. I am very proud of myself. I was like, you know, his head's here. I wonder if you could hit him. Shame I fell. I was really anticlimactic after that. Uh oh. Cannon's gone, isn't it? Yep, oh, cannon's gone. Alright. Welp. We got awesome hunters over here and a fantastic cat. Making this side do better. And you know, you gotta love that hunting music. Big bada boom. Oh, oh, we almost went over with all of them. And we got cannons on a ship too, so we'll be fine. You know what? You're obnoxious birds, and I wish I brought a bow or something to take you down with. Flashbang or something. Poke him with my sword more. Really do. Probably bad. Oh, oh man, that hurts my very being. That's gonna hurt the. Yeah, there's the defense going down. Bet you that would have been a good time to Dragonator him to stop him from doing that. But. Yeah, a Dragonator. Or a Binder. The one-shot Binder probably would have worked, too. Actually. Almost certainly. Damn it, he's past the cannons. Yeah, I should have saved the Binder for that. The barrier is still holding. Yeah, the fact that the barrier is still holding past that is insane. If he breaks that cannon, though... I think he just did... Oh, he didn't. Okay. I was about to say, I will be running out of ideas of how to hurt him. Can you adjust cannon positions? I think they're set, aren't they? There's a way to do it. Uh, the game has not in any way told me how. Damn it, that's going to go over too. God damn it. This is down. That cannon's down. Really wanted to smack with a sword. Move them side to side to aim. Can we? Really? Ow. Oh. oh. You can adjust the cannons. I had no idea. Thank you for that. Legitimately had no idea. That saves me a lot of trouble. 
Yep, thank you much. You guys called it. It's the front end of the cannon. Alright. We're gonna hit him with the sword again. Probably doing no damage, but you know. Yeah, I mean it's a hit. That is pretty much a game changer. The the being able to move them side to side. Thank you for that tip. I was not aware that was a thing. Means we can shimmy this one to the side a little bit. And pull the trigger. Because he takes the same damage everywhere. May as well hit the rock. I mean, yeah, breaking bits gets us probably better loot. So if I can be smarter about it, it's a good idea. But whatever. One minute till Dragonator. Means we're going to wait for them to fire this. Or load this. We'll fire it. Yeah, the, the cannons in the, the arena are absolutely useless. Hope that counted for both of them. Yep, counted for all of them. Wonderful. Uh, is he gone? I wanted to Dragonator hit him again. Alright, I'll take it. Yeah, I can see what you guys are saying. It would be difficult to fail that. Not impossible, but difficult. And knowing about the cannon arc changing is wonderful. That really helps impact the fight positively. No gem, which I know is going to be a big deal. Da -da -da. The rest, then. Voucher bonus. Yeah, cash money prizes. New cutscene has been added. Really? Okay. Pamlico level. A few points. Yeah. Whatever. Might actually be worth it to bring Transporter Pro to that, just on one piece of gear, just to carry them quicker. There are extra hidden cores on Zora's back that you can kill for extra parts. Yeah, I should explore the back part more when I'm there. And actually, next time I'll just do more mining, really. Mining and breaking parts, and less dicking around. Now that I know the slag tights do 500 damage, which is like two cannonballs. Well, that troublemaker is going to make even more. Oh, he's still on the quest list. Get out there and um. Okay. Check it in a minute. Hello. Oh yeah, mining. Oh yeah, mining. Is that all we had. One piles, and we're going to end up doing wild spire soon. You're an investigation. I don't know if I have one of those yet. No, we're gonna keep that. Like, yeah, I know we've already got a few. Espoids. We've got one? Yeah. And the one we've got has got exponentially higher. Oh, but upsurge mining. The oh, I'll keep it. Faint two times. I'm not doing the faint two times one. And this one gets us more money. That one. Alright. Looking okay here. I don't want to see what this guy's going to say about all the stuff going on. Try hard, will you? Material carapace. Magma core broken carapace. Head broken magma. Chest broken palua. And gem is just rare. Oh. If the gem is just rare, we should bring Legiana armor, which gets us better rewards. Or Kirin armor, if we can finish that by the next time. Kirin armor would help a lot too. Oh yeah, no, I I mean, except Bird Wyvern gems. I have an excess of Bird Wyvern gems already. Like, a lot. But yeah, gems are of course rare. That's how it goes. I'd be shocked if they were common.
Fertilize, maybe. I do need more great horn flies, so that's wonderful. Yeah, plant harvest up. Oh, we'll do mushroom. Oh, the ship came back. Hold on. Checking his loot. Let's see, hang out. There he is, Captain. Oh, no, not you. You! Beautiful. Hell. What you got for me? Some material items. Like crystal, some scales. All low rank, but whatever. Consumable. Adamant pill, net, trank bomb. Okay, get some stuff. Steel egg, yeah, trading items. Some ore, some more trading items, just cash money. So many points anyway. Doing it. We request different? No. Honestly, I'm gonna say any for all of them. Just bring me whatever. See if we can make any Zora bits with what we have, and if we can fight him another time, we'll fight him once more. I really want that armor. I don't even know the skills it has. I'm sure it's blast related, because his weapons are blast related. But it looks cool, and that's enough for me. And getting a weapon would be nice. We can make some. Handicraft and blast attack. Ooh. Critical status. Weapon sharpness plus 10 and blast attack. The blast wouldn't help me now. Handicraft would. Blast attack windproof. And doesn't help me too much now. Fortified tremor resist. Tremor resist would actually help. We need a gem. Yeah. The legs. I'm going to start top down. I won't wear it right now. Buy it. Make what we can. Expensive too. 9,000 apart? Yeah. But I just like the look of it. I like A better than B anyway, look wise. B isn't bad. It'll be nice to have slots if I want it. But you know. And all of a sudden, our money is disappearing again already. Just making a few pieces of armor. Suddenly, no, no cash. I think we're armored up for now. Yeah, we're good. Again, we may as well try it while he's here. I don't see a downside to it. You have an idea, though. Maybe we can buy throwing knives to hit the stalactites, but at the same time, does it matter? Maybe? I can try. Might as well give it a shot. Uh, to do, pay with points. Yeah, give me... No. We really do need to try for Bombardier. It'll be hard to get it twice, but if we can... Uh, it's really good. Cool cat! Not good enough. Oh, so he stays for two times, regardless of whether you repel him or not. If I had done another quest, he'd only be there for the one. Okay. Well, again, it's worth doing while he's here. We're going to use our vouchers. Getting a slightly better chance at the gem. Next time he comes around, I'll try and do things that are actually going to increase rewards, even if they decrease my defense. This time, I don't care. Call it laziness, call it what you will. 
don't care. Next time. If we don't get a gem this time, that's going to be how I attempt to get better luck with it. to this. Guess I can skip it. Hunters, we need to weaken Zora Magnaros enough to capture it. Discovered, Once yeah. Back, you don't say. Destroy the cores to weaken it. Or try dropping some of those stalactites on it. We bring the stalactites with gunpowder. Use your slinger to blast them loose. You can do it! You know what? I want to do bandit mantle too. Yeah. Destroy the magma cores to weaken Zora Magnus. Yep, yep. The success of the whole operation comes down to how much we make. They're super serious, and I'm like, yeah, that's that's important. It's good to be serious. Also, let's just go poke this giant flaming dragon to death. Oh, there are stones right there. Literally right there. Oh. Magma core located. Wow. Right next to me. Go to ham on it because I don't want to take all that fire damage. Yeah, so, between those, that's roughly. Should we save here? Yeah. A few cannon shots on this. Side did they say they're approaching it from? I guess I can't hit it from here, right? Gosh dang it, and there's lava! Welp. We are not tall enough. I legitimately tried this time. If the game's gonna be like, you're not tall enough, uh, then I can't do much. Maybe this side real quick. Oh, lava there too. Hold nothing back. Yeah, I know. All I have to do is hit him. I could get higher up. I could do that. You have to lead the shot a little bit because we're moving. Alright, whatever. I'm just wasting time with that. If I had started higher up, that would be smart, but I didn't. Beautiful. Good work. Look for the next magma core. Something's happening to its shell. The flow of magma is changing. Come on, we're definitely high up enough. All right, fine, fine, fine. The game is saying don't do that, Viper. So I'm saying okay. That's what do you say? Dodge food. All right. Well, whatever. Wasted a ton of stones. Didn't even at all get one of the stalactites. We'll get one later. Urgent power means potion. Please don't blast me as soon as I get up. Oh, Alright, yeah, yeah, there we go. Watch oh, good damage. Good damage. You gonna, you gonna be dead soon? I would like that a lot.
trying to at least get the patterns a little bit. Do a swing or two, get out of there. If I can get the right area on it, I can manage to dodge some of them. There we go, part broken, get some mining done. Nair Gigante hasn't even shown up yet, we're making better speed than last time. Doing okay. Oh, fragment. Oh, I keep forgetting to use my mantle. You know what? I'm gonna use the mantle on Nair Gigante. What was the way out of here? Oh, we jumped down. Oh, notice all that. Hello, Mitz McGee. Welcome to Viperland of the chat. Uh, yeah, I fought Kieran by myself, too. I beat it after carting twice and taking a half hour. After this hunt, I'm literally going right back to Kieran. I, he is the full armor that I still need for low rank to finish up low rank armor, so I'm gonna do it. Now that I've got a slightly better weapon, or did twice too? Yeah, I was so close to triple carding. All the stress that I thought I would feel from... Yeah, yeah. All the stress I thought I was going to feel from that meat delivery quest that you said is apparently not too bad. I still need to do. That was all the stress that I ended up feeling in the Kirin quest. That was absolute concentrated stress. Absolute. I was so ready to die on that. Okay, well, I'm just gonna be out of rocks the whole time. And he is going to kill me! Yes, yes. Yeah, uh, that's what Mitz was saying. She didn't even see Photogron. So I'm like, cool. That's good. Just, like, it sounds frightening as hell. I didn't even try it yet, because I was like, oh no, that's just stupid. But apparently it's not too bad. Ah, uh, we're gonna get shaken off anyway, but whatever. Yeah, sharpness. Uh, Nair Gigante is here. Hey, Gigante. Oh, come on. What? Oh, it hit him too. That's fine. As long as it's not just me. Okay, come on. I'm blasting through Mega Potions now. Okay, we'll just be on fire. I was hoping to spend some of this fight not on fire. That's not gonna happen. Yep, cool, he's gone. Uh, damn it. I could probably hit that with my net at this rate. No, uh, maybe not. Oh. Anti-burn mandal would be nice, wouldn't it? We could have smacked that with our sword. Which ones did we still not get? The head? Head. Oh, this is the butt, isn't it? Out to the barrier. Oh, barrier. Alright. We're working on it, dude. We got two. Two out of three ain't bad. Definitely one on the head I could break, but whatever. We're already going up here. And hey, look, mining. I don't think we're going to have time to break the third one. So extra ore... Extra good. Nope. Damn it. Hit everywhere. I don't know why I default to regular potions. I should use the supply potions first. Nope. Stop it. He did get a shiny, I heard it drop. There it is. Ah, we're off, okay. So it's possible to get it from this, maybe not Nergigante. 
Makes sense. I was trying to game the system. You know. Damn it. Alright, I was gonna try and get some mining. Or we enter the final skirmish. There's definitely a mining thing here. There it is. I have no regrets. Okay. So, Ralphie should have the thing rocking. Hold nothing back. Okay. Good to go. A little bit to the left, but it should work. Yeah, buddy. If this one's locked and loaded. We'll fire this one too. It is. Pushy push. Uh, pushy push more. Uh, it's still close, but I think we got it. Hey, same armor! Same armor! Mining intensifies, right? You gotta, you gotta have your priorities, yo. If he's loading that cannon, it means he's probably ready to go. Three. We'll have four. This will be five. Yeah, buddy. Ralphie's best cat. Well known facts. Oh, still went over a little bit. Okay. Not much to do about that. Can't really stop him from flinching. We want him to flinch. Four and five. Then we'll hit Ralphie's, then we'll hit the other hunters, and we should be fine. Okay. Uh, why did Ralphie leave this one? Okay, cool. That was not loaded. He's doing ballista stuff. Uh, aim is good. And five shots. Good job, Hunter. Right. Have a Dragonator? Good. I was actually hopping down to do the other bits, but we'll do Dragonator. After we... Yeah, for just the right moment. Uh, that's good enough. I feel like all moments are the right moments. Okay. Da -da -da. Oh, that still might miss a bit. You can turn a little bit this way. Yeah, 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 that's the stuff. That's the stuff we're talking about. You guys are wonderful. Keep up the good work. Also... We need the one-shot binder before we leave. Miss charging his laser. It'll help. Oh, okay. Bro busted up something. That uh, one shot binder, please. That one shot binder, please. Oh, okay. You know, whatever. Got it. Firing. Alfie being a boss. Okay, let's actually. Oh crap! He's gonna go for that one. All right. Well, I kind of needed that. I kind of wanted that at least. We're gonna fire off our. Oh, he blew up that one too. Never mind. Binder's probably not gonna happen. Either way, it only does about half the durability of the, the wall, anyone. So that's fine. I'm gonna try and stop the special attack from happening, but who cares? Do your thing. Still 
correct. That's why we're firing cannonballs. I do like the concept that you're not uh, killing it, per se. You're just like, no, uh, stop bothering us. Leave. It's a concept of a bunch of hunters with, like, sticks, effectively. Killing Zora Magdaros is kind of silly. But, you know, repelling makes perfect sense. Block its path, piss it off enough, and it's just like, fine, I'll go another way, whatever. Not what I wanted, but I'll take the wing. Nope. Good enough for now. I believe. But you guys, you got your cannon loaded and ready? Yes, you do. Aim is true-ish. That'll do. Hello, Solier. Welcome to Viperland and the chat. As we poke poke a big guy. And then probably poke poke a little guy afterwards. Gotta get ourselves a little bit closer to getting some gear. Hill? That like oil? Huh, okay. Da 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 da. Yep, we're ready to. Damn it. Fine. Drop it. Grabbed one too many. I think I should check down on the ship too. They should have more cannons. Well, these two load up here. We'll head down. Oh, well, we got a one-shot binder, so, you know, if we can actually use the damn thing, we could stop him. Nope, not gonna make it. Not at all gonna make it. Nope, he unleashed. That's fine. Doesn't matter. We... Oh, that might... No, it's hitting. Yes, there is. If we were smarter, but we're not. I hope these guys down here. Then we'll head back up in a minute. And maybe push a little bit more. Yeah, yeah, okay. That's a good one. Grab too many. Four, yeah, yeah, I grabbed a little too many. But we're managing. Kinda. What? Alright, fine. Oh, that still will barely make it. Barely is good enough for me. Nobody saw that. That was fine. Good enough for fire four. I've still never gotten fire of the Dragonator the second time. Always dead before then. That one. Alright, this one. Oh, well, never mind. There you go. No gem. Next time we wear better armor for it. Got cash money prizes. Palico leveled up. Our Palico is going to be a beast. So, even though we're in high rank stuff now, we gotta kill a Kit Render too. Really gotta finish in that armor. Got to the Rotten Vale yesterday. Nice! I like the Rotten Vale. I like Coral Highlands more, but Rotten Vale is good. Which means you're close to Legiana. Oh, Radabon's a lot of fun. Now, the Radabon armor is really cool. Though, I really like the Odogaran well, a lot more. more yeah, yeah, yeah. Troublemaker stuff. I get you. Oh, the tail rider's back. Wonderful. We got anything here? I have to check the tail riders. Get their loot. Send them out on a new one. Craft whatever we can and try and get Kirin. Stone Cat ears. Damn right it does. It's adorable. 
I like the look of it, but the Autogaron armor skills I ended up liking more. Uh, the Autogaron armor is so good for Greatsword, it made me go back to Greatsword. It's that good. It's so fantastic. Alright, Safari, you guys go. We can send out Deku. We can send out Grim or Zeta. Oh, Great Garros is wonderful. Uh, the best sword appearance is Great Garros, too. By the way. Ah, uh, yeah. We'll send out... No, we'll send out swords. Two. Probably Coral. Ah, we'll send it here. No. We still need Coral Crystals. Ah, uh, Rotten Vale. Screw it. Go to Rotten Vale. Have you seen the Great Garros Greatsword? Because, my god... Not items, thank you. The Great Hero's Greatsword has a snake motif on it. A paralyzing snake on it. Yeah, it's fantastic. It's fantastic! But unfortunately, uh, it's not upgraded as high as this one is right now. So we're going to stick with this one. But once we upgrade it, good times are going to happen. We're going to para everything, or probably nothing, because it's a great sword. So we'll probably paralyze effectively zero things. Well, that I did not use anything but a long sword for all the low rank. Okay. I tried to use not great sword, but. <laughs> Autobaron. Yeah. That guy's armor happened. It's just so it's so greatsword fantastically made. It's made for greatsword. You could use it for anything, but it's fantastic for greatsword. Alright, let's order Magdaros. Alright, three out of five done. That's all. So our heat scale and a gem. And three more ridges. Alright. I mean it's not it's better than what I've got. And its defensive cap is higher for sure. But what we have isn't awful, so you know. Oh, it does have free element though. And that could be helpful for certain weapons. Well, whatever. Time to go to Kirin with a negative... How much are... Negative 15 thunder. I'm gonna hope that negative 15 thunder is still inherently better than minus, like, over 100 defense. I'm gonna hope. Next one down. Uh, yeah, I might be able to do it. Do either of these two. It's got zero, which is better than negative, I guess. We can maybe eat for it. We can eat for elemental resist up. I kind of want to stick with what I got. If it fails, I know why it failed. I don't have enough potions. Use Kobe Kadachi long sword to kill a Toby Kadachi. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You out thunder their thunder. Hold on, I keep forgetting to do this now. There we go. And our cat's got blast damage now. We've got poison for what little it's worth. I'm pretty sure they're at best resistant to poison, if not immune. You don't know, actually. Okay. Give it a go. Probably gonna regret this. We get three silvers, though. Toby, Radabans, or Magdros. Toby Kadachi is fantastic. Radabans really cool. I love Legiana. Legiana is my number one. Personally. 
I love me some Legiana. There's, there's a lot of great monsters in this game. I'm really loving all the new ones. Which I pretty much expected, but it doesn't change the fact that it's cool. Mental resist up medium. Dead helps. You don't like Legiana? Okay. I disagree strongly. I love Legiana. But whatever works. Yeah, that brings us to only negative five. That's actually not too bad. It's really not. Oh, I love it. I love the monster design. I love the fight. I love the armor. I love the armor set bonus a lot. The look and set bonus of the armor is just top tier to me. Everybody ready to watch me just get wrecked by this fool? Because that's what's going to happen. Last time I tried this, it didn't go super well. This time, probably still not going to go super well. We got way more defense, and we've got a little more offense. We also did a uh, hunting horn last time. So, yeah. See how it goes. I mean, I'm pretty sure he starts down here. Negative. Let's not start down here. Also, a clear... Oh, never mind. It's clear-ish and stormy in the distance. I don't really know where he is. Back him as best we can. Oh, where you can get some warped bones? Uh... Off the top of my head, I don't remember. I must have gotten some before, but I really don't remember. I mean, obviously bone piles would be my first guess. I would check bone piles in whatever the highest tier area you can go to. I rank Rottenvale and Highlands. Oh. Really? Okay. I don't know where the flip curing is. They wouldn't show you something you can't get yet. They don't show you materials that you cannot currently harvest. So if they show you the name uh, Warped Bone, and you didn't look it up on like a wiki or something, then it should be something you can get. Oh, there you go. Then they're low. They're, they're, they're rare, but you can get them. Ah, uh, dang it. We're being outsmarted by a horse. I just feel like every time I fought him, that one time, he hung out around here a lot, so go back to the base and look back around here somewhere. I feel like he's always around that base camp. Yeah, just keep finding bone piles, you'll find them. Especially because we already found some signs of him up here. Maybe this way? Not. Oh yeah, that belt saved my bacon. Apparently, you could also just use the water hunting horn, which gives you uh, negate elemental damage, and pretty much just lets you ignore all of that, which is kind of cool. I didn't do that, but Grim told me about it, and it seems a damn good strategy. In a round... Aha! Footprints. Now we can at least track its tracks. I mean, I don't know what you're talking about. I need non-starting gear. I need every gear. Once I finish this cure set, the only thing we'll need to finish it all up is just for our cats to bring back more, uh, of those cloths, and then we can finish that up. Alright. Up there? Oh no, you're down there, okay. Literally below me. Ah, there we go. Egg. 
here in. Me, the gear, you just don't wear it. All right, hey, whatever works for you. I really hope he's poisonable. Also, look at this majestic son of a bitch. Hey, time to break you up a little bit. I doubt we're going to be getting full charges on him very often. It's going to be one of those hit him when I can type deals, which means it's going to be a long fight. So I preemptively apologize. That's just how it's going to go. But we're going to steal a bunch of stuff from him. We're going to get a lot of loot from this long fight. I should shoulder bash more. I know it's a good thing, and I keep forgetting to actually do it. The, not prance, that strut is more what it is. Of course you gotta slice it. I need gear from him. It doesn't make him any less majestic. It just means I want to wear that majesty. And maybe not miss all my attacks. Ow! Okay. You can't hit me up here, right? We safe. It's not like he can call down lightning or anything. Ah, oh, you son of a bastard. Of course that worked. I knew it was going to happen too, but I was like, you know, maybe I'll live. This is embarrassing. I should have brought the thunder resist mantle instead. If I was thinking, but I was thinking loot. Which, oh, to be fair, loot is wonderful. But I guess loot only matters if I can actually hit him. So, you know. I'm not hitting him. I'm not getting much loot. Can I actually get a charge? Uh, no, I can't. And your favorite monster? Oh, what's that one? What's your favorite? Ooh, boy. Okay. Oh, dragon pods. Actually, I should save those. I think dragon pods help get him out of rage. Oh, it's okay. It's a spoiler monster. Got it. Thank you. Thank you for not spoiling that. I appreciate that. I keep forgetting 90% of people playing this game are way past me. Okay, fine. Like, way past me. I keep being like, no, I, I haven't played that much. I just hit high rank. Other people just hit high rank. And the world is like, no, Viper, we, we all, we're at endgame now. Oh, he's down too. I haven't tried it as Insect Glaive, but it sounds like a fun one. It's a low rank Elder Dragon, so I mean, it's not like we're fighting high rank monsters. They let you fight this right as soon as you kill your first Diablos and Rathalos for the story. They're like, hey, you want to fight a Kirin as an optional thing? I'm like, yeah, but that is unexpected. That's going to improve me. Considering there's still a huge amount of monsters in this game I'm not even aware of, yeah, I'd say people are way past me. The fact that I've already been spoiled for two of them in the chat, I'd say merits me saying people are past. Alright, hit dragon. Dragon to better. Dragon to even better? Am I even hitting him? A little bit. That'd be the head, I guess. Can't even hit the broad side of the barn with this guy. I don't know, Crescent. No idea. 
I think his lightning homes in on me because I am just a magnet for attacks, not necessarily because of Blight. Though, if it is the Blight, I could bring the silly mantle next time and do better. Zutsi is fantastic. He's better than I expected him to be. I thought he was going to be just a stupid throwaway, you know, it's a raptor. It's not. It's actually fun. Oh, his timing is great. He'll just wander into a fight, flash everything, chuckle at you, and leave. And it's like, you bastard. Doesn't matter, we're doing damage. I know bouncing sucks, but you know, it's still damage. Cool, thanks for not sliding, I guess. Okay. It's good. I'll run out of potions. Damn, screw that coral, I guess. Not like coral takes, you know. A long time to grow, and it's probably precious, but you know, screw it up. Wreck it with lightning. I guess it's technically my fault. Kieran wasn't fighting anything until I started it. It's on me, I guess. Ooh. Oh, clutch, clutch dive. Chugging all that green stuff. I thought it was leaving for a minute. Alright. Just over here harassing me. Oh, I wanted to mount the horse. Oh, I didn't do the 100, that was the cat. I was like, wait, how did I do 100 damage? That was the blast. Okay. It's fine. There's no, no reason to be fighting a Kirin in the corner. It's such a stupid idea. Horns. <laughs> like, come on, that's that's just an anti-greatsword attack. It's like, oh, you, you paused for a second to do a swing? Well, you're going to get hit with this instant bolt of lightning there. No real charge up to it, no real anything, just, you know, good luck. Hope you enjoy lightning. If we gave up the Thunder Mantle for this, we may as well use it. Okay. I know it's not good damage, but even if we can get a trip. Really? Really, game? You're gonna pull that BS on me. Okay. Cool. All wonderful. Where did he go? Up there. We got a Paratoad. That might actually work in our favor if he ever decides to follow us. He won't. Good enough for me. Tell me he just ignores it. He's trying to parry him and he's just like, you don't understand. That's not how this works. 
Okay, fine. Deserved that. Getting a little cocky. Getting a little greedy with my attacks. Like so. Oh boy. I'm a good hunter. I've played this game lots. I know every fight. You can tell by how skilled my gameplay is. And my inability to hit anything. It's a sure a sign of somebody who knows what they're doing. Actually hitting the monsters for scrubs. Heal monster hunters miss all their attacks. Or bounce. Missing or bouncing. You know what? Screw it. Get some ah, eight damage. Get some little hits around here. We're gonna be bouncing around a small arena. And get some free hits. Oh come on! Ugh. Speaking of being in midair and making a mistake, that's what just happened. When straight for him, he's like, no, Viper, I've seen through all of your moves. Your next line is, I'm going to try to mount you now. Oh, come on! Yeah, the thunder mantle next time will be a must. Just predicting all of my moves. I can't do anything to him. Figured, you know, Torch Pod, small arena. We're getting some damage, though. It's actually non zero amounts of damage. Better than I expected. I should sharpen, too. Yeah. Ugh. I was gonna say the plus side is we have plenty of time. We don't. It's a half hour time limit. And we might not make it. Legitimately might not. Doesn't he go up here to sleep? I mean, I know that's wishful thinking at this rate, that he might be potentially trying to sleep. I'd be willing to bet he's not. Some potions, though. Yeah, not a chance. He's just up here like, hey, how you doing? I wanted to get a good view. I'm gonna miss this one, too, and I know I'm gonna miss it. One, come on, two. God damn it. I knew I was. I knew I should have charged the shoulder charge the second hit. Uh, your head can't be too high to hit with a great sword. It's illegal. It's illegal in 50 states. A small horse to have a head too high to hit with a great sword. Oh, Ralphie's stealing all the materials. Even if we somehow screwed up, which we will, uh, I'm getting lots of drops from him. Which is nice. Uh, maybe next time I use a weapon that doesn't need to stand still so often. I don't really know what that would be. Uh, you know, sword and shield, dual blade, anything. Anything he's elementally weak to would be great. Uh, gonna die. The fact that I haven't carded yet is nothing shy of miraculous. There we go. that. Elemental resist up again. Oh, oh yes. And I keep forgetting I can actually change my mantle now. I could change weapon too, but I really do want to give it a shot with this. I think I can do it. I think this will help a lot. 
It's exactly because I said I didn't cart. The second you say something stupid like that, the game goes, tee hee, you fool. You know how this goes. Oh, I really don't want to climb all the way back up there again. No part of me wants to do that. And I know the second I get close, he's going to leave. But I also know we're going to run out of time. So, yeah. The one right? Yeah. As soon as he get up there, he's gonna leave. I'm calling it now. I'm calling it now. It's because of pure luck. I wonder if there is a quicker way. Yeah, ten minutes. We're not gonna make it. The hope is he's sleeping up here so we can great sword slam him, I guess. Nope, not sleeping. He's not even to the point where he's limping yet. I don't think we can do this. I think the 30 minute time limit might be what breaks me. Did it faster last time, but I used great sword with sleep, and I got a few good bombs on him. I didn't even bring bombs, did I? Oh, I'm cool. Alright. That helped though. As did that. That helps a bit. See, if I can just get him to stay absolutely still on the ground and hold his head there for me, I can do this. No, that's all it takes. That's it. Otherwise, we're fine. Glider Mantle probably would have helped too, just to save time. Oh, yeah. Win or lose, we've gotten a bunch of breaks and parts. Well, it's not all bad. Also, this guy with thunderclouds and sunset? This is, this is some beauty, man. This is some good stuff. Thanks, I've made them. Breaking the horn helps a bunch too, actually. It's not the head, but you know. Whatever hit I can get on this fool. Really kind of. Oh, we got a poison! He is not immune to poison. No, he is. No, he's not! He did get a poison. Okay. Ralphie is getting beaten down. I feel a little bad for him. Feel really bad for me after that. But that helps. Stay here, stay here! God damn it. Please don't hit me. Thank you much. I walked into that one. That was my own doing. Oh, mistakes. It really does do a number on that thunder damage, though. And maybe I should have paid more attention to that, considering he doesn't really do... That's his only real physical attack. The rest are thunder-based. Oh, really? That stops it? Okay. A nap? Oh man, I wish I had brought bombs. Really wish I had brought bombs. What? 162 is no laughing matter? D6 is eh, not as good. And 193 is okay. We've been better with bombs, though. If we actually pull this off somehow, I will be shocked. Hmm. Right, that's not how we're going to pull it off, by the way. 
Don't run. Don't run. We stay up here. Holy crap! Oh, okay. Okay. I, there's no way I should have passed that time. There's no way I should have failed that quest. We can all agree I should have failed that, right? Right? There's no way I was doing enough damage to have passed that. Other than the blind luck of the wake-up call. I'll take it, though. I'm not gonna complain. I'm just a little shocked. I mean, I meant that. I meant every bit of that. That was planned, calculated. I wanted it to look like I could easily fail, and then pull it through at the end. Yep, that's how we do it. And on the way down, we do this. It's for style. We actually did it. Hopefully, it gives us what we need for the armor. I wouldn't mind enough left for the weapon. Yeah, we lost some cash. Switch level one. If I can learn what I already know, hit him in the horn. Break the horn, specifically. Break it early, if possible. Yeah, yeah, troublemaker, troublemaker. Trouble. Not important to me. Important to me. Uh, different Kirin. Yana. All targets. Ooh, that's a fun one. A lot of cash. I'm gonna keep that one around. Not gonna keep these. Try hard, will you? Yep, monster guide updated. Weak point, uh, fire elemental. I have an okay fire ele elemental sword. Huh. Okay. Poison is not too good. Sleep and blast is. Arrow doesn't work at all. Thunder doesn't work at all, go figure. I've got an okay, it's got negative crit, but negative affinity. Maybe I can, I can use that anyway. You all good? And maybe some more armor. That's the key thing here. Gotta be getting the Kirin armor. And I really want to be getting more of the that cloth so I can finish up the other armor, but that's really just when the cats bring it. There's nothing I can do to speed that up at all. It's just when they bring it, I can make it. Okay. We only made boots. We still need Electro Sack. We can get that from a few things, though, right? It's not just Kirin. I hope. Any Elite Crystals, no worries there. Coral Crystals, eh. Guess I need them, too. Alright. We're close. Very close. Need one Electro Sack. We can get them. Maybe. Uh, really, what other electric monster? Toby Kadachi. We might be able to get it from Toby Kadachi. Electro sack. Yeah. Let's just. Do it, Toby Kadachi or two, just to save myself some stress. Though, we're gonna have to do some more Kirins for that sword. It is just god tier electric damage and looks. It's not my favorite great sword by looks, but it's top five. And the sheer amount of elemental damage it can do is wonderful. So, 
get this set up on the way. I don't know if we have a singular Toby Kodachi hunt. We might have duos, but that's fine too. Love the intensity of that Kirin icon though. Ubi Kodachi. We actually might have a singular. Kodachi and Wrath. Toby Kodachi and the whole crew. It's tempting. And regular Toby Kodachi. 15 minutes, I think we can pull that off. With chances at rare loot, that's going to be the one. I don't remember exactly where the best place to start looking for him is. I'm going to start there. Kind of surprised I got, from what I can tell, pretty much the full armor from, other than this sack, from two Kirin hunts. It's not bad. Oh, we're going to swap back to the loot thing, though. For attack up, because obviously... Why hunt quickly when you can hunt even quicker? Also probably eat at some point. I'm realizing now I haven't eaten yet today. That might be a good idea. So I am calling it now. Tonight's stream, which I'll probably I'll probably break in an hour or so, get some food, relax for a little bit. Tonight's stream is going to start at 8 p.m. my time. I'm going to be posting this on Twitter and Discord too. Don't worry. Now that I've cleared low rank, uh, you unlock Bandit Mantle way towards the end of low rank. I don't remember exactly when, but it's way towards the end. It's before Kirin, but not much. Uh, I will be doing low rank online hunts. Low rank only, and I will request low rank armor and weapons only. So if you're joining in to help other low rank people, don't be that guy that comes in with end game gear. Don't be a tool. Come into low rank gear. Let's, let's do it. Either be helping people who are in low rank, or just doing hunts of low rank stuff. That's what tonight's stream is going to be. I'll post it on the Discord and Twitter too, don't worry. Where's the quickest way to find this fool? That's what tonight's going to be. Unless it turns out nobody wants to do that, in which case I'll continue doing what I'm doing right now, but I get the feeling somebody feel like that's going to be a, a fun thing. I know mitts and potions are still not high rank yet, so that's already two people who would inherently probably want to give that a shot. I'm heading up. You join, but you have your Xbox One? Ah, rip. That's true. A lot of people have it for Xbox, too. Or Xbox One. <laughs> I think over here might be a good way to try and find them. Eh, no worries. If I had an Xbox One, I would have gotten it for that too. Hold on, let me check what that is. Uh, da -da. Okay. I think he hangs out around... Ah, Toby Kodachi. Yes. We have the scent. And the scent says to go this way. Kadachi. Oh, you little fools. Fine. Kadachi's down here. Ish. Looks like, no, Viper, you're an idiot. You're going the wrong way. And I'm like, probably. Yeah, definitely. Alright, bugs. I guess I'll listen to you. Almost like you know how to do things. I'll have a sign down here. Really kind of wish Sony wasn't a tool when it came to crossplay. Because Microsoft wants crossplay. Nintendo, depends on the game, kind of wants crossplay. And Sony's like, no, I refuse. I love my PS4. I love my Vita. I love my PS3. Sony, get your act together. Let's do crossplay. Everyone else wants to do it. Oh, like, uh, crossplay would be so good with Monster Hunter. With any game, but obviously Monster Hunter right now. Hey, you want to fight over here, I guess? That's cool. Uh, 
Did that not work? Oh, okay. Cool. Yeah, beat my blinding. Oh, back to thunder. Every time I'm like, ah, no thunder blade. The game's like, no viper, thunder blade. You saw that. Love staggering on the like when their own thing staggers them, it's like hee 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 hee. That's a shiny. Oh, don't attack me, thank you. Poison? Yeah, I've seen the damage go. It's nice to see uh, poison damage numbers. It'd be like, I'm I'm helping. I can see poison is actually doing something instead of just, eh, I guess they're taking some damage. I'm gonna die to a low rank Toby Kodachi in high rank here, by the way. It's probably gonna happen. Good potion. You know, why potion? You can swing your sword more. Dodge. I love ten minutes. Ah, that's fine. Okay. Cool. So, guess I will drink a potion. I was like, I can make it. Without she's like, you fool. I meant to do first aid mid. <laughs> Not totally serious. Alright, worth a try. It's me being a dick. If I could have gotten the free sort of hit, would have been nice. The quest timer is so short because I'm on an investigation. Investigations have randomized properties. It's going to get me a lot more loot from this guy, but the quest timer is a lot shorter. If you're not doing investigations, you fool, you should be doing investigations. You should, unless you don't have an investigation for a monster, you really should never fight the monster in the story quest more than once. After that, you should go straight investigations for him. Loot is better. Sometimes it's harder. Sometimes we get a, you can only cart once on a monster that's like, if I get an only cart once on a Kirin, uh, I'll fail that quest, because clearly I can't do it without carting. But for the part, it's something very worth doing. And just generally, you get more gear, or more drops. Oh, you damn it, damn it! Fully predicted. That works too, whatever works for you. But if you're trying to farm up gear, investigations are the way to go. Also, if you're trying to farm up money, because uh, investigations can randomly roll with a gets you a lot more money. Hell, even gathering, it can roll like more mining points, more floral points. Pretty much anything you want, you can find an investigation for it. You get them pretty quickly. So, worth keeping your eye out for them. Why are you farming gear you're not using? Correct! But when you want to get gear... Like, you're right. Now, there'd be no point if you don't need it. Or, if you're trying to farm those twisted bones, you find one that's like, oh, bone drop rate, or bone appearance rate up. Oh, that would help you. Well, like a pool. I knew I was gonna, you know. Yeah, there you go. Fight. 
You're not making low rank armor? Shame on you. Watch me not kill him in time with a high rank greatsword. How funny would that be? I'm just so bad at doing this hunt. No blast damage cat. He's clearly not weak to poison. Come on. Gotta keep your head closer to me. That's fine. We'll just chill down here. How the hell did I do this guy at level? I mean, I farmed him enough. I made his full armor and some weapons. Got him. Got him lightly. Alright, he is capturable. I'd much rather waste my chance to capture him. Do that. There we go. Got plenty of stuff. A 21k on an investigation that took you about 10 minutes? Hot damn! You got an investigation that does 21k? Oh, did you use a voucher on it? Is that what it was? Or do you honestly just have one that gives you that much cash? Oh, okay, I was about to say, that's still impressive, even with a voucher. Hey, we got the one Electro Sack I need. You can finish Kirin. Not that it would have been a hard one to do again, anyway. Yeah, see, that investigation didn't get us a lot of money, but other ones can. Load the game. There we go. Well, that troublemaker is gonna make yeah, even yeah. More they re they really want me to do storyline stuff, and I'm like, no. But armor. Uh, yeah. Like if you look, this one. If I were to hunt all three of these in low rank, which admittedly would still take a little time, twenty four thousand zenny. If I voucher it, it doubles it. Yeah, it would take twenty minutes or so. But like, that's a bit of money. You're really lucky you end up finding like a slay 20 Vespids with like a ton of cash. I haven't gotten that lucky. Oh, we don't need either of these right now. Oh yeah, you're getting close, Sor. Getting pretty close. Raiders are still out, so we'll just make the gear. We should be able to have it. So close. We're so close. We need a lot more money, too. That's gonna be a thing. Also so broke. Eh, not as broke as I thought. Alright, Kieran. Waste. Alright, Kirin, definitely done. So we're still missing Death Stench, Boots, and Helmet. We need two Sinister Cloth and two Coral Bone to finish it up. The rest we should have. So close. 
the end of low rank armor is in sight. And the beginning of high rank armor is scattered about. And I got a few here and there. Almost finished chainmail. Get a little further on hunter. A lot of those need ore is the issue. I need to go out and get ore. And other stuff like bones. Or Jagras hide. Pretty much just making whatever I have parts for at this rate. Not currently farming a specific thing, just kinda I have enough materials for it. But I'm sticking to mostly A's at the moment. We'll worry about B's afterwards. A is a lot more important right now. So I'm not gonna make the Puke B's, cause it's just not what I want. Well, eventually. Maybe. I can't guarantee, but eventually, maybe. Alright. What's HR bone look like? Uh, not drastically different. But I'll show you. Really not much different at all. It's purple because I was using my armor pigment. You can change it. I've just got purple pigment on at the moment. So I guess A lets you paint the whole thing, B lets you paint the accents. A is clearly cooler. A, flawless hunt, so lots as any. Alright. Well, I think I'm going to take a quick break. I am starving, so I'm going to eat something real quick. i got to make something to eat. I will be back in a little bit. I don't know exactly when. Definitely, at the latest, about 8 o'clock to do that low rank stream with people. I'll start posting about that places. Uh, da -da. Uh, you get the paint in high rank. When you hit high rank, you get uh, paint for armors. So you can't do it yet, but you're probably close. Not Hunter's Notes. I'm going to hit that every time. Gestures. Wave. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for watching. I will be returning... If I return before 8 o'clock, I'll do some just one-off stuff like I've been doing. After 8 o'clock, my time. It'll be low rank hunting with viewers, exclusively hunt low rank, and I'm really asking people to actually bring low rank gear. I know somebody's not gonna, and I know that's gonna happen, but whatever. It's just how life goes. Either way, thank you for tuning in, thank you for watching. My uh, feathered arms are clipping through my face, and I'll see you all in a little while.